First, take out of all items from the package. Take out the monitor. Take out the camera. The camera bracket can be flexibly adjusted. There are six lights. The package contains monitor, camera, cigarette lighter, U-bracket, sunshade, power cord, antenna and T-taps. Now demonstrate how to install the U-shaped bracket. Pick up the 3M sticker. You can stick the 3M sticker on the bottom of the bracket to fix it to the position you want. Tear off the 3M sticker to paste. Align the bracket hole with the screw hole on the side of the monitor. Fix the bracket and monitor with screws. Tighten the screws with tools. Repeat the above operation. Fix the bracket and monitor with screws. Tighten the screws with tools. Follow my operation. Use another type of screw to fix the monitor and bracket. Follow my operation. The U-shaped bracket can be flexibly adjusted. There are four card slots around the monitor. Install the sunshade on the monitor. After adjusting the angle, tighten the screws. Follow my operation. We provide extra spare screws. You can pass the screw through the camera bracket hole to fix it to the position you want. Or pass the screw through the monitor bracket hole to fix it to the dashboard. Install the antenna on the monitor. Install the another antenna on the camera. Pick up the power cord. Now merge the two thin red wires. Then merge the two thin black wires. Pick up the green connector. The plus, plus sign is positive. Minus sign is negative. Use a tool to loosen the screw. Insert the merged red wire into the positive, plus, slot of the green connector. Insert the merged black wire into the minus, slot of the green connector. Tighten the screws. Please don't let the positive and negative poles touch. Plug the cigarette lighter adapter to the power outlet. Plug the cigarette lighter adapter to the green connector. Connect the power cord to the monitor. Connect the power cord to the camera. Press the red button. The monitor lights up and the image appears on the screen. Touch the M key to enter the menu mode. Touch the mode key to enter the pairing countdown. Turn off the camera's power and quickly turn on. The image appears on the monitor, means pairing is successful. Pick up the camera. Cover the camera with your hand and hold the automatic light sensor with your finger. You can see IR light. The testing finished. Now disconnected all the wires. The easiest way is connect the monitor to cigarette lighter outlet. Pick up the power cord. Connect the power cord to the camera. The red wire is connected to the positive wire of the tail light or 12 volts DC power system. 
The black wire is connected to the negative of the tail light or 12 volts DC power system. Press the red button. The monitor lights up and the image appears on the screen. Touch the M key to enter the menu mode. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the picture. Touch the mode key to confirm. Touch the mode key. The icon turns red. Touch the up or down keys to adjust the brightness. Touch the mode key to confirm. The icon turns yellow. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the contrast. Touch the mode key to confirm. Touch the up or down keys to adjust the contrast. Touch the mode key to confirm. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the hue. Touch the mode key to confirm. Touch the up or down keys to adjust the hue. Touch the mode key to confirm. Touch the M key to return to the previous interface. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the mirror flip. Touch the mode key to confirm. Touch the up or down keys to select the mode you need. Touch the M key to return to the previous interface. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the mode. Touch the mode key to confirm. You can choose the split mode you want. Touch the M key to return to the previous interface. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the cam setup. Touch the mode key to confirm. You can turn on or off the signal camera. Touch the M key to return to the previous interface. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the system. Touch the mode key to confirm. Touch the mode key. The icon turns red. Touch the up or down keys to adjust the system date. Touch the mode key to confirm. Touch the mode key to switch to the next data. Adjust year, month, day, hour, minute in turn. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the delay time. Touch the mode key to confirm. Touch the up or down keys to adjust the delay time. Touch the mode key to confirm. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the P line. Touch the mode key to confirm. Touch the up or down keys to turn on, off the guidelines. Touch the mode key to confirm. Touch the M key to return to the previous interface. As it's a waterproof monitor without have the recording function, so SD card as unless, just ignore the play and record icon. Touches the M key to exit the menu mode. When the guideline appear on the screen, touch the up key. When the M appear on the screen, touch the down key to moving the guideline left and right. Touch the up key. The W appear on the screen. Touch the down key to adjust the width of the guideline. Touch the up key. The H appear on the screen. Touch the down key to adjust the height of the guideline. When you are in a harsh environment, such as a storm or snowstorm, you can use the lock screen function to lock the monitor. Touch and hold the M button for 3 seconds. When this icon appears on the screen, touch the mode key to lock. In this case, all the button are not work. Touch and hold the M button for 3 seconds. When this icon appears on the screen, touch the mode key to unlock. Follow my operation. Touch the CH key to switch to the CAM2 channel. Touch the CH key again to switch to the split mode. Touch the CH key again to switch to the CAM2 channel. Pick up the second camera. Now it's CAM1 channel. Connect the second camera to the power cord. The red wire is connected to the positive wire of the tail light or 12 volts DC power system. The black wire is connected to the negative of the tail light or 12 volts DC power system. Cover the camera with your hand and hold the automatic light sensor with your finger. You can see IR light. Touch the CH key to switch to the CAM2 channel. Touch the M key to enter the menu mode. Touch the mode key to enter the pairing countdown. Turn off the camera's power and quickly turn on. The image appears on the monitor, means pairing is successful. Touches the CH key to switch to the split mode. Images on both channels.
The process of connecting the camera to the lamp line. T-taps. T-taps has two holes and one hole is closed. The long line is the line of the lamp or the circuit line on the car. Thrust the car light line into the first hole. camera power cord plug the power cord into the second hole iron sheets clamp the iron sheet to the taps bottom 